Okay, so question number four is to draw the Lewis structure of carbonyl fluoride, uh, COF2. What are the electron pair geometry and molecular geometry around the central atom? What is the hybridization? And what orbitals overlap to form the sigma and pi bonds between carbon and oxygen? Okay, so let's find the total number of valence electrons in order to help us draw our Lewis structure. So carbon has four valence electrons, oxygen has six, and fluorine has seven, and there are two fluorine atoms, so we multiply this by two, and add them all up, and we get 24 valence electrons. So now over here on the right, I'll draw my carbon as my central atom. And then let's see what happens if I have a single bond with all of my terminal atoms. And then I'll just add all the lone pairs as I go. Okay, so let's recall that each bond contains two electrons. So if I were to count out how many electrons I've drawn so far, I have the 24 which is what uh, I am looking for. But if we look at the carbon, it doesn't have a full octet. So the only elements it can form a double bond with at this moment is the oxygen. I'm going to bring one of the lone pairs down to form a double bond with the carbon. And now everything is neutral. And we still have 24 electrons in the structure. So uh, this is the correct Lewis structure. So now when we want to find the electron and the molecular geometry around the central atom, we first need to count out how many lone pairs and how many bonded atoms there are with the carbon. So the carbon has zero lone pairs and it has three bonded atoms. So the two fluorines and an oxygen. So now we would use our Vesper table to find out the type of electron pair geometry and molecular geometry of the molecule. So when we have zero lone pairs and three bonded atoms, we have both a trigonal planar molecular shape and a trigonal planar electron geometry. So therefore, trigonal planar for both And we can see that the type of hybridization is sp2. So we have this answered, we have the hybridization answered, and now what orbitals overlap to form sigma and pi bonds between carbon and oxygen? So now, when we have uh, the, the pi bonds, this is when the p orbital of carbon I'm going to say 2p overlaps with the p orbital of oxygen
to form the pi bond. And for the sigma bond, the carbon sp2 orbital and the oxygen sp2 orbital are used to form the sigma bond. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. So here's the Lewis structure for carbonyl fluoride. So it is the same as mine. Everything is neutral and there are 24 electrons in the structure. The electron pair geometry around the central carbon atom is trigonal planar even if there are four bonding pairs around it because the bonding pairs and the double bond are counted as one pair. The molecular geometry is also trigonal planar since there are three atoms and no lone pairs around the central atom. Carbon atom is sp2 hybridized and one sp2 orbital of carbon overlaps with another sp2 orbital of oxygen to form a sigma bond. The unhybridized p orbital of carbon overlaps with another unhybridized orbital of oxygen to form a pi bond. Hence the double bond. The remaining two sp2 orbitals of carbon form sigma bonds with the two atoms of fluorine, all the remaining sp2 orbitals of oxygen contain lone pairs. Yep, so the solution is correct.